John Hickman is a clean tech analyst at MDB Capital Group, and he joins us now from our San Francisco newsroom with a look at where Soros might want to invest. John, welcome. And first of all, a, a bit of a broader question here. When you talk about a billion dollar investment in this industry, how significant is that? Uh, to put it in perspective, I'd say if you're looking at alternative energy projects like uh, wind or a solar power project, uh, I've heard that uh, those projects, a typical project could cost 30 to 50 million dollars. Okay, so, so his billion dollars could probably go uh, pretty far. Where, if, you, if George Soros called you up tomorrow and said, John, where should I, how should I uh, invest this money, what would be your top priority? Well, George has two choices. He can put his money into alternative or renewable energy projects like wind or solar or biofuels, or he could put his money into uh, what we call clean uh, transportation uh, technologies, uh, electric vehicles, batteries, motors, that kind of thing. And I guess you can uh, ask two questions when you look at these uh, two different types of investment classes. First of all, which is going to make them more money? And second of all, which is more promising in terms of really being more climate change effective? Um, well, I think they're both really important as far as, uh, you know, carbon emissions. Uh, most of the power electric, you know, generation capacity in the world today is still uh, coal or natural gas. And both of those are, you know, they emit carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. On the uh, transportation side, we burn oil uh, to drive vehicles, and that produces carbon dioxide. So I, I think there's a, you know, an equal effect here. Uh, w as far as which one makes him more money, um, I think there's uh, venture capital type returns in both of those categories. Um, maybe not so much in wind and solar, but uh, uh, there are categories in the renewable energy that are more on the up and coming um, scale of things that where he could get uh, really high returns if he hits one right. Uh, John, you have some stock picks. I'm looking at uh, three of them right now. Tell us about them and why you like them. Um, yeah, uh, three names that I like a lot in the more, uh, they're more centered on the clean technology side, but the first one is SATCON, uh, SATCON Technologies. This, this company is, sorry, my earpiece is falling out. Uh, this company is that makes large-scale utility size inverters. An inverter is, uh, changes the power from AC to DC. Um, and every solar power project needs a, an inverter to change the, the current. And this is a play on solar power in general. You don't need to pick a particular solar power company or right. project. Uh, SATCON has about 65% of the market in the United States and it's gaining share uh, in both Europe and in Asia. And you so also it's like a good general play. You also like UQM Technologies. Yeah, UQM Technologies makes motors that drive your electric vehicle or your hybrid vehicle. It's part of the powertrain. Um, every electric car needs a battery uh, pack and it'll need a motor and a controller to go along with that. UQM is attractive because they don't really have a lot of competition in this space right now. They're working with a number of car manufacturers and they've just uh, teamed up with Borg Warner on the drivetrain side and so that puts them in front of even more uh, large uh, auto manufacturers. And, and John, the world. Quick, uh, quickly, your last one, Enter One. Uh, Inner One is one of the leading battery manufacturers here in the United States. They have production capacity in place. They're waiting for some big orders to uh, fill up that capacity. They recently got s some nice grants from the U.S. government, the DOE, and they're looking for further funding opportunities with low-cost loans. So it's one of the leaders in that space. We like it a lot. John Hickman of MDB Capital, thanks a lot for joining us uh, to give George Soros a little advice. <laughs> Just a little.